Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton will no longer be given a salary while he awaits his impeachment trial later this summer. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. He's already been suspended, and today the lawyers who will prosecute him before the Senate were introduced. Both are longtime Texas attorneys who have worked on high-profile cases for decades. And they say what's been made public about Paxton's alleged misuse of office is just the beginning. Fox 4 Stephen Dial live tonight with more on the story. Stephen. The House impeachment managers hired two heavy hitter lawyers to present their case against Attorney General Ken Paxton. The details of the ground rules for the trial won't be known until the end of this month. The people of the state of Texas are entitled to know whether their top cop is a crook. House Investigative Committee Chair Andrew Murr announced two prominent attorneys to serve as prosecutors in the upcoming impeachment trial against Attorney General Ken Paxton. Dick DeGaron has represented former U.S. House Majority Leader Tom DeLay on corruption charges and successfully defended former U.S. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison on misconduct charges. Rusty Hardin was involved in the Clinton Whitewater investigation, as well as representing a number of high-profile athletes. This is not about a Republican, and it's not about a Democrat. The impeachment process and, and the vote in the House shows that. 60 Republicans and 61 Democrats voted last weekend to impeach Paxton. The 20 articles of impeachment include retaliation charges, bribery charges, and obstruction of justice. The allegations of abuse of power and bribery were centered around Paxton's donor, Nate Paul, a real estate developer who allegedly asked Paxton to interfere with an FBI investigation. I was shocked at the details of the allegations. This is not about a one-time misuse of an office. It's not about a two-time misuse of the office. It's about a pattern of misconduct and use in the office. Paxton is suspended from office until the result of the Senate trial. We learned Thursday from the Texas Comptroller that because of the suspension, Paxton will no longer receive his salary. The Senate will set the rules for the trial June 20th. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who will preside over the trial, said it will start no later than August 28th. We want the accused, Mr. Paxton, to be able to call witnesses in his own behalf. We want him to have uh, a lawyer or a set of lawyers representing him. We want them to be able to cross-examine our witnesses who will be sworn, and all the witnesses should be sworn and under oath. While we don't know the rules of the trial, it is expected it will be streamed to the public in the Senate. DeGaron and Hardin both called for a transparent process. Well, we hope and pray that this will be a process that allows the public to fully examine everything. And I'll promise you, it's 10 times worse than has been public. Ken Paxton did not release any statement today, but in days past, he said that he believes that he will get a fair trial in the Senate. Angela Paxton, his wife, is a state senator. It's unknown if she will recuse herself because the senators are jurors.